today I'm going to take a look at these two air compressors because one of the most annoying things for me is airing up at the end of the day. After a good day of wheeling, I'm coming up from 15 PSI all the way to 39 PSI. I don't have huge tires, but I have 35 and 10 and a half. So, I mean, they're decent. And this isn't cutting it. They fill the tires and in a pinch, it was working quite well. I'm hoping the eliminator uh, works better. Um, so I'm going to test it out date. I'm going to drop one of the tires down to 15 PSI, put a timer on it, fill it back up with the rigid air compressor, and then we'll do the same thing with the brand new a Eliminator air compressor. Let's uh, see how long it takes, because I feel I'll be here a while. I'm going to... Oh, I don't even know if I can get this off. We're going to use the driver's side rear wheel for all the tests today. We'll drop it down using the uh, Rhino USA decompressor here, which has been a great tool. One of the other ones that took a while. I didn't like holding the little valve stem. It'll take about two minutes to two minutes to air down. This much quicker, much quicker. Pulls the valve stem out. Um, I quite like this. Sixteen. Almost there. All right, 15 PSI. Can't really see that from there, but stem back in. First, we'll do the rigid one. Press in. Okay, this one goes to your 12 volt in the cab. I like the one that goes to the battery, but uh, this works. Okay. One thing I do like about this one, uh, it's got a dial on here. So you can set it to auto set. Honestly, the rigid one isn't bad. Um, it's just slow for the size of tires that I have. If you're just doing one and you're in a pinch, this is pretty good. Uh, I also have the batteries for this as well, so I don't actually have to plug it into a car. So it's nice and portable. You just plug the battery into here and you can run. Um, I know I can fill two full tires off a single charge uh, and then I have two batteries. So that's what I was doing before, plugging it in, but plugging it in just makes it a lot simpler. Um, we'll have to check the footage to see how much time it took to do that one. Uh, I'll review that in a bit. On another note, the rigid one is pretty loud. Like, I should have put earplugs in because now my ears are kind of, I'm kind of more deaf than I was prior to uh, starting it. Yeah. I like this one. It all it has a case for itself. It's a nice solid unit. Looks good. Got a long cable for for the air for, uh, for the air pump, so that's nice. Yeah, a nice long extension. That'll be be nice. On off, got the lights, got the auto gauge on it as well. And I can connect it straight to the battery. So we'll be doing that for this one. Let's twist that on. Nice. All right, there we go. Oh, this one's so much quieter. Make a note of the time. I'll just let it go. That seemed a lot faster. For one, that was a lot quieter. A lot, a lot quieter. And 
it feels like that was a lot faster too. Uh, I'll compare the footage and I'll, I'll confirm it, but just I think it was a lot faster. A lot faster. I still think I'll keep the rigid one with me just in case. Just in case. It's nice to have a, a backup. This Motormaster, for the price that I got for it, it's a hundred bucks at Canadian Tire. That's a lot less than what I was looking at for a bunch of other ones. Super fast inflators, can only do four tires at once and that kind of stuff. Which would be cool. But at the price of like 300 bucks, I really want to do that right now. So for a hundred bucks, this, this is worth, worth it. hundred bucks for this saves me, I'll find out how much time it saves me in a little bit. It's like, if that one's taking what, 15 minutes to do? 15 times four, that's an hour. So for every minute I save with this one, it's multiplied by four. So if this takes five minutes, then I'm in four, just 20 minutes, uh, yeah. Cause that's the most annoying part, is airing up. Maybe in the future I'll get like an air compressor built in board. But that sounds expensive. So we'll save that for later. Footage was reviewed and now I have the times. So the Motormaster, wait, I'll start with the rigid. The rigid, filled up the single tire in nine minutes and 31 seconds. So that was, that's a substantial amount of time. I, it felt longer, uh, maybe just cause it was annoying to be around cause of the, the sound that it gives off. Now the Motormaster, um, so the mo <laughs> funny thing is the rigid, uh, air compressor was cost more. Um, so this less expensive, uh, Motormaster eliminator, did it in, let's see, I wrote it down here, four minutes and 18 seconds to fill that tire from 15 to 39 PSI. That's a huge savings. So I'm out on the, the trail and all that. End of the day, I'm using the rigid uh, air compressor to fill up all four tires. That's about 27 minutes to fill up versus 12 to 13 minutes to fill up with the eliminator. It's half the time, half the time. 13 minutes is not bad. That's about as long, that's slightly longer than the rigid takes to fill a single tire. That's insane. So eliminator, great job. 15, under 15 minutes to fill all four tires. Oh, another thing. Because it connects to the battery, I don't have to keep moving the plug. Because with the rigid, I have to keep uh, on going from one side to the other. I have to open the driver door, unplug it, plug it back in to just reposition it. With the way the Motormaster is set up with the long extension cord for the air cable, I just have to plug it in once and then just move the air compressor um, uh, nozzle to each tire. So I'm probably saving more time than uh, just filling the tire. It just ease of use, it's better. In every aspect I think is better, except for size. Uh, it is larger. It comes with its own carry case. The other one, I can just throw in one of the cases and it's fine. Throw it in my backpack and it's totally fine. But hands down winner for today is the Motormaster Eliminator. If you're just getting into off-roading and you want to be able to air up your tires at the end of the day so you can air them down during the day, this is a great buy. This is a great buy. We'll see how long it lasts. I'll do a review in a year if it lasts that long. <laughs> okay. See you next time. We'll review other stuff. Let me know what other things you want to see reviewed because uh, definitely buying a few things this year. Nice. All right. Bye.